Welcome to the Abundaculture channel. The Bible provides pathways to abundance. God is pleased when we succeed abundantly and share generously. Abundaculture uses the family homestead as a platform to provide five basic needs. Affordable housing, renewable energy, clean water, healthy food, and safe sanitation. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check out our Abundaculture.org website and download our free training manual. Good morning, YouTube friends. It's good to talk to you today. We're going to answer questions that we've received about our YouTube presentations, particularly today about the composting toilet. Lots of interest about that. Thanks for sending those comments. We appreciate being able to learn what you need to know. The first notice from Patrick. Let me read it. Where is the bathroom sink? And do we use toilet paper or a bidet? The bathroom sink is about 18 inches away from the photo that you see in the training manual or on the YouTube presentation. We have actually two bathrooms. That's in a regular standard bathroom just like you would have in most houses in America. Do we use a bidet? Probably a bidet won't work and the reason is it would add too much water into the operation. Now you could do it, but it would take a whole lot of sawdust to absorb all that extra water. And I'm afraid it would be just too wet for the operation. Now that's not the only question I have about a bidet, so we'll get back to that again. Here's a question from Repent and Believe. I thought you lived in Texas. No, we live on the high plains of Colorado, about 6,000 feet. 50 miles straight east of Colorado Springs. It's kind of a moonscape out there. It's a harsh place, but it's a great place to test all the things that we talk about in Abundaculture. Because trust me, if you can make it work there, you can make it work anywhere, even in Texas. The next one's from Y. Can you use a gun bidet? Okay, there we are again with the bidet question. Uh, again, same answer, probably not. It's probably going to introduce too much water. I do sympathize with the problem. Perhaps do as I have done for a long time, just use wet toilet paper for cleaning. And it works very effectively, and that you can put right into the composting toilet with no problems at all. You don't want to use the wipes that you can buy at the store because they will not degrade effectively. They say they are biodegradable, but in truth, they would take years and years to biodegrade. So I hope that answers your question adequately. And here's one finally from Brian. He says, thanks for the info. Will the outdoor long-term composting pile regulate itself if it's not being fed new deposits continually? Does this system work if we use it on a piece of land that we may not be on for weeks or even months at a time? Absolutely. The beauty about composting is that God does all the work. He created the microbes. The microbes are in there working as soon as you start putting that stuff in a pile. You don't have to stir it. You don't have to mess with it. There is another YouTube presentation on compost. If you just follow those really simple instructions, it's basically just put it in there, cover it up with a carbaceous material like old grass or leaves, uh, and put it in there in short steps, like an inch or two at a time. That's when you put the bucket in. You don't have to do anything. You never have to stir it. You never have to do anything. Unless you might get a problem, like if it rained and got really wet, you might have to stir in some dry materials. Over the 20 years that we've used the sawdust toilet, I had to do that one time. I got it too wet, and then it started smelling bad. And uh, that's one of the signals. If it starts smelling, it's too wet, usually. And so uh, other than that, you just don't have to do anything, and it'll be just fine while you're gone. Uh, I would always, of course, clean the toilet before I left the cabin for, you know, a month or so or a week or so, so that it doesn't develop odors while you're gone. Well, thanks for all those great questions. Please feel free to ask questions about anything on the homestead. We spent uh, about 20 years on that off-the-grid homestead, and we spent about 50 years studying this process and living in different places and learning about all this stuff, and we'd love to share it with you. Thanks for being with us.
Keep your hands in that garden and your eyes on the sky, because he's coming real soon. we do are just grains of sand when these things are touched by the master's hand then our lives turn into mountains